hello everyone welcome to wix ideas and in this video i'm going to show you how you can add a count to your wix repeater filter in a previous video i showed you how you can add a filter connected to your data set without any single line of code but the only issue was we're not able to get the total number of items that were found or even to calculate how many items were currently being displayed on the website but then in this video i'm going to show you a very simple way you can add that with a very short simple line of code that you can easily copy and paste into your website and you can make it your own and before we get started please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and also don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions and most importantly don't forget to turn on your notification to be the first to know our future videos all right so let's get started so this is the page that i used in the other tutorial and i'm going to be doing exactly the same feature here and what i want to do is to go over to the add section and i'm going to go over to the text i'm going to add a text element that is going to count the number or display the number of items that were found i'm going to go ahead again and click on edit text i'm going to change this to poppins bold I'm going to go ahead and reduce the items and set zero items found. Now this is just a placeholder, it doesn't mean this is what's going to be displayed, but you can highlight everything there and change the size of your font to maybe a 15 pixel. And you can drag this just next to this reset button here and as you can see we have our text that is going to display the number of items that were found next we're going to add a very short simple line of code that's going to help us to calculate this easily so go ahead and click on the dev and turn on your dev mode now once you're done you're going to find that we're able to edit and add some code onto the website again click on this text element and we're going to change the id to say count items now once you're done, go ahead and maximize your code section and inside of this code section, we're going to get rid of all of these comments and then we are only going to be left with nothing there but a space for us to write in our new code. We're going to be using a special function called the setInterval function and the setInterval function allows you to run any kind of code inside of it for every interval. So for example, we want to run this code for every 200 milliseconds, which is going to be a very fast way to run the code at each interval. So for every 200 milliseconds, it's going to continue running the code to get the new result. So inside of our set interval, we're going to add a new variable and we're going to call that number of cuisines. So this can be anything that you want. It could be number of cuisines, number of activities, number of spots, number of books, anything that you want to display, depending on what your repeater currently holds. For me, I'm displaying cuisines on my repeater and that is why i have named this variable number of cuisines so what this importantly is going to do is we're just going to assign it to the id you're going to use the week selector to assign it to the id of our data set which is the data set one so click on your data set and go back to your properties panel and from here you can toggle this on and off and copy this id and place it right here now once you're done go ahead and say get total count and this is a function and it's going to get the number of items that were found now once you're done we're going to go to the next line and we're going to use the wix selector again to get the text holder that is going to hold the number of items that were found which is the count items so go ahead and copy this id again and place it right here here now remember that this is a text element so we're going to say dot text is equal to the text is always holding a string so we're going to use the template leader row to display the number of items that were found all right so next we're going to display a variable which is the number of cuisines and in order to display a variable inside of a template leader row we're going to use the dollar sign and the curly braces and add our variable which is the number of cuisines and then next to it we're going to add our string so we're going to say maybe be zero or 12 or six cuisines found all right so this is all looking good now most importantly over here we have the cuisines as a plural but let's say we only found one item and we want to conditionally show the s or not show the s if it is not one item or not first of all go ahead and delete this s here and we're going to add another dollar sign in order to check this condition to see if it is true or not that we have more than one item total found or not so go ahead and copy this variable again place it inside of this and what you want to check is if this is equals equal to one then what you want to do is we want to add no s there so we want to go ahead and add the empty string there or then we want to add an s so go ahead and add the single line quotes and then add an s so this is going to say number of items were found let's say we have six cuisines found or if it's just one it says one 
using found now let's take a look at this example and see how this works awesome so you can see that this is working the way we want it to be it shows the 12 items 12 cuisines were found and that is exactly true and you can go ahead and click and select the items that you want as you can see when you select it also updates the number of items that were found and so on so as you can see we have only one cuisine found and that is a very good way of stating how many items were found so when you go ahead and reset also it also goes to recalculate and sees how many items were currently found on the data set all right so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you want to get more information about how i enabled all of this you can watch my other tutorial about how you can add a filter to your website using only data set without any single line of code and you can come back here and add this short line of code that allows you to calculate and show to your users how many items were found when they use the drop down filters all right so as you can see this is a very very short line of code and you can just easily copy this you can check out the code in the description below to copy this code and also make it yours thank you very much and see you in the next video